Life in the 21st century will be one of innovation. The gains we have made in technology and science, in medicine and space travel, in architecture and engineering are minimal compared to what this next century brings. We know that our students will need the skills of 21st century learning, skills in global awareness, inventive thinking, digital literacy, technology, and problem solving. But how do the students in Chesterfield County Public Schools get to these skills? Students at all levels study the physical world through science, achieve practical results through technology, create or develop new devices through engineering, and make quantitative analyses and predictions through mathematics. STEM literacy will help students meet the demands of 21st century learning and prepare them for 21st century careers and continuously changing workforce experiences. Well, what we're seeing for engineering is a, a shift. A lot of engineering in the past 50 years has been manufacturing related. But as we know, a lot of manufacturing that is not high technology, high value, is going to Asia. So we think that engineers have to go into that environment capable of creating new things, innovating. So I think the, the most important characteristic of an engineer is going to be a solid set of mathematical and science skills and knowledge, but also the ability to work in a team on problems which require creation. As early as kindergarten, children in Chesterfield County begin to learn the fundamentals of mathematics and science. They use manipulatives and experimentation to begin to gain scientific and mathematical understanding. Children's Engineering is a new program in Chesterfield where children learn STEM subjects through doing. I think the most exciting part for me was to see something that I had designed that got squeals and you know hollers and just just really you know especially you know with the pulleys they always squeal and the, the lights and the gears and the map and everything they just just get, there's so much excitement. One key to STEM literacy is learning all four subjects not in isolation but integrated through questioning, investigation and hands-on learning. This method of learning ensures that facts learned are not just memorized but they are applied. With this strategy, students use their background knowledge and skills to solve problems in any content area, but in particular, math and science. Science and mathematics are important parts of children's engineering. Teachers of engineering, whether they are teaching physics concepts through traditional experiments or through physical education, know that these concepts will be used by students throughout their education. The teaching of mathematics continues as an important fundamental for 21st century success in middle school. Recently, middle school students have moved toward higher levels of mathematics. Four years ago, Chesterfield County Public Schools um, began implementing a program in mathematics in the middle school designed to provide opportunity and access for all students to be enrolled in Algebra 1 by 8th grade. Providing kids with these opportunities um, allows kids to take more and higher levels not only of mathematics in high school but also of science and provides them with opportunities to study in specialty centers and governor's schools and all kinds of uh, other opportunities that are available to students. We are preparing students for jobs in the 21st century that we aren't even sure we know exist today. We aren't sure what jobs will exist then but what we can do is, as educators is prepare them for jobs and prepare them as mathematical thinkers and problem solvers and give them access to the higher levels of mathematics and science that are necessary to be successful in whatever job they choose. Science and technology are also important pieces of the learning puzzle at the middle school level. The skills in science and mathematics are so interwoven that the teaching of one often leads to learning in the other. Students in middle school learn applications that will carry them into their lives in high school and beyond. I hope my kids learn problem solving skills by using math and science as well as writing skills. These are important skills for the future. These are important skills for any career they might choose to go into. Students entering high school today have a much stronger background in mathematics and science due to the use of technology, the teaching of problem solving, the teaching of teamwork, and the focus on inventive thinking at middle schools across the country. This common base of knowledge allows high school students to become more self-directed and shows them to choose more specialized options in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. 
students can learn advanced uses of science and mathematics at the Mathematics and Science Specialty Center at Clover Hill High School and the Center for Health Science at Cosby High School. Students can extend their knowledge and technology through the Technology Specialty Center at Matoaca High School and the Mass Communication Specialty Center at Manchester High School. Students interested in learning engineering concepts can enroll in the Engineering Specialty Center at Bird High School. STEM literacy is important for all students, not just those going to specialty centers. Experts agree that most of the jobs of this century will demand skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These skills, whether acquired through a two-year school, a four-year school, or study toward industry certifications, will be required and will lead to jobs already in high demand. At Bird High School this year, a second tract was added to the Engineering Specialty Center. This second tract leads to job skills in the field of engineer technologist. Well, what we found out that there were several instances where kids were asking, how can I get in that specialty center program? But they were already current students in Bird High School. And our current our four-year program pretty much required that you jump in in the ninth grade. So what we did is we developed a three-year program that's um, every bit as rigorous, but it is a different pathway. The concentration is on engineering technology. The students apply in their ninth grade year, and they are able then to start in the tenth grade year um, in our specialty center program in the engineering technology studies program. And that will take them through their senior year, and it is college preparatory but we also have infused it with dual enrollment credits so that they have a lot of options at the community college level for those high-skilled, um, high-wage jobs that might not necessarily um, require a student go all the way to four years, but certainly they need some higher ed. We're also looking for that student who perhaps has that innate talent, that innate ability, but maybe hasn't really seen the relevance in their, um, in, in their regular studies, and so what we hope that they're going to find by uh, asking them to consider our program and ultimately attending our program is the idea that what they're learning in physics and what they're learning in history and in math all tie together and we try to do that through anchor projects in their engineering design class. So sometimes students haven't, don't present themselves with the, the most stellar academic record. However, we have found that um, with the right combination of challenging projects and relevant coursework, they really rise to the challenge. That's what our goal is for many students. Students in this new program learn that learning a subject should not be in isolation. In math, we're learning about slope and all different kinds of algebra stuff. Then in physics, we're learning about the relative motion and the slopes of it, things like that, and how to calculate it. In engineering design class, we built a ballista, and we're working on Excel spreadsheets in that. And in physics, we're doing things relating to our catapult, and all the classes tie into each other. The combined study of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is perhaps best represented by the Chesterfield Technical Center. The Technical Center offers a number of courses including Biotechnology, Veterinary Science, Technology Education, AutoCAD, Oracle, Cisco, and Marketing that are direct STEM courses. STEM literacy shifts students away from learning discrete pieces of information and away from rote procedures toward looking at the world in an interrelated way through questioning and investigation. Our traditional careers and career and technical education have always required a basic understanding of STEM literacy. But there have been several new industries that have evolved in the last few years, such as biotechnology, information systems technology, and even automotive production systems that require a far greater knowledge of STEM than ever before. Last year, Chesterfield students earned over 350 industry certifications. That's a 250% increase over the last three years. The Technical Center offers both industry certifications and internships important for gaining job skills. At Thomas Dale, all my biology and chemistry courses have really helped me here at the Tech Center in the biotechnology program because we work with live samples of things from plants and animals, and we work with various chemicals. And working with those substances in the lab have helped me in my internship at Virginia State University when I work with animal samples in the laboratory. 
Having an internship in high school has given me a head start for my career and for college. Whether through training in elementary engineering, investigating with probeware in middle school, or designing experiments in engineering, Chesterfield County students have many opportunities to learn skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Armed with strong skills in these areas, students will acquire the 21st century skills they will need to be successful in their careers in an ever-changing world.